tripping with us this morning. May God's peace be with each of you as well as, as we gather uh, close to your screens, near in heart and in soul. Uh, come close so that we can share a message and a special time together. I was thinking about you guys this week because I know for many, many of you it was a big week. For others of you, that big week is just around the corner. Either you finished a school year this past week or you're about to finish a school year and officially start summer. Now, I also know that, that this year's end of school is going to, was different and that this year's summer is going to be different in lots of ways, some ways that I know are disappointing and sad. This morning, we're going to hear about some people in the Bible whose lives ended up being very, very different than they expected them to be. They were disappointed and pretty sad. They had to live a long, long way from their home, and they didn't know how long they would be there. And in the middle of that, when they were sad and disappointed, God showed up. And do you know what God told those people, those people who were sad and disappointed, those people who were far away from their homes? God said, plant a garden. Really? You can look it up. That's what God said. God said, plant a garden. Now, I've been thinking about that this week because that's what Pastor Kelly is going to preach about, share with us about this morning, and, and I think that one of the reasons that God told them to plant is because gardens remind us that God is with us even when we can't see God. Now, I know that many of you have planted things before, taking a seed and, and placing it down below the dirt. And you know, if you've ever done that or watched someone you love do that, that one thing we can't do is make those seeds grow. We can try to help them. We know some of the things we can do. But mostly, we can only do one thing. We just sang it. We can wait and wait and wait. And if we're patient and if everything goes right, Amazing things can happen in our gardens, in our yards, in those pots we put those seeds in. And I think that's what God was telling those sad and disappointed people, that, that our lives, their lives and our lives are like that too. That we don't get to decide everything. We can't make all the things we want to happen happen. We try to do what we can. There are some things we can do to help. But mostly, we wait and wait. And we try really, really hard to be patient. And if we are, and all goes right, amazing things can happen. So here's my assignment for you today. If you have a garden or anything that you have planted, would you send us a picture so that we can see what you're growing this spring? And here's the other part of your assignment, much harder. Remember to be patient and never forget that God is with you. Let's say a prayer together. Are you ready for your prayer clap? We'll count to three. One, two, three. Dear God, Thank you for being with us. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for ways to grow. Thank you for ways to grow. Even right here and right now. Even right here and right now. Help us remember you are with us. Help us remember you are with us. Help us to be patient. Help us to be patient. Help us look for surprises. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I look forward to seeing those pictures of your gardens and plants this week.